Hey y'all. Hey y'all. It's, it's Mitch. Come on. We do this every time. Seriously. And welcome to the raw. Welcome um, to our pajama party edition. Yeah, we have pajamas on. Let me yeah. show you one. It's a little drape. Okay, just here. a shirt. <laughs> just a shirt. But you know, today we're talking about some controversial topics. So you know, unpopular opinions. Time to be comfortable mm -hmm. and get to the bottom of this. Yeah, and so there's a lot of different varying opinions on hot topic conversations, and we just feel like we want to add our two cents to the conversation. So for sure, we're gonna start off and just kick right into it. Okay. All right. So the first one is platonic relationships. Do platonic relationships exist with the opposite sex? Like, can girls have guy best friends and guys have girl best friends with it solely being platonic? You can kick it off. <laughs> Sips tea. Literally. Mmm. But my tea down for this. Okay, so... I have a general answer, but it comes with like some caveats here because, but it shouldn't, right? This is a difficult topic. I personally would say yes, because I have, one of my best friends is a guy. So yes, they can. Okay, that's fine. I also, I feel like they come with caveats as well. Yeah. I also say yes, but I think that oftentimes like Nine times out of ten, the answer to me is no, but I think that there's that one time out of ten that exists where you can have, like, a guy best friend and it be platonic. Yeah, I also think, so the, my limitations or, like, reservations with my yes is that, like, I mean, if everyone's, like, single, then okay, fine, but, like, what happens when you're, like, in a relationship and then you have, like, a guy best friend, like what kind of like boundaries are then placed on the friendship for the sake of the relationship and is that a thing like should that be a thing or should like the person that you're in a relationship with be like okay. open to the fact that you know this is your other this is your best friend type thing it's all so i've been on the it. receiving end and the giving end of both and i just think that it's like one of those things i think it's an unfair situation when you already have a guy best friend that you guys have established like mm -hmm. the flow of your relationship like you guys have built this relationship over however long and like this is an established flow of the relationship and then you bring in a partner into the situation and all of a sudden there's like all of these drawbacks that you have to do and like being so on the receiving end, yeah being on the receiving end like i've been on the end where it's like someone has distanced themselves from me and almost to the point of like cut themselves off from me because they got into a relationship and then I've also been in this instance where I was in a relationship where like my significant other felt uncomfortable and so then I had to accommodate that and try and like you know adjust the relationship I don't believe in cutting people off like cutting off friends for the sake of a relationship unless it's like necessary like unless they're disrespecting a relationship like understanding you're in a relationship and still trying to do things that's disrespectful too I'm not really a fan of like cutting them off but to me I think that it has to be like an open discussion with your partner ahead of time like it's one thing if you like have a partner and then you while you're in a relationship start to develop a close friend oh wait that can't happen yeah that is like that's <laughs> like, like to what to what end like exactly. at what point and it's like on what basis <laughs> on <laughs> what basis <laughs> like Exactly. No, I that, think that's that, one thing. To me, that's a I'm like, no, you can't. If it's do already that. like, a like you better have the friend before you met me, because <laughs> otherwise, like you talk about, oh, you popped up with this new friend, and oh, we're getting so close, and oh, we're getting I to know each other. Because I feel like best friend, like to call someone your best friend, for me personally, like that's like the ultimate level of friendship, right? And so, to you, for you to be developing an ultimate level of friendship with someone while you while you already in a relationship, it's just like. Where do you get this time? Right. This energy. You need to learn to meet. Exactly. Go there what you know about me? Right. right. <laughs> oh, I just found out Sally likes pineapple pie 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 pizza. Right. Like, <laughs> the answer is no. <laughs> the answer is no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah, but I also, I think that like the reason why I say nine times out of ten I don't think that it can work is because that like when you find two people who mesh so well together, one of the parties is going to start to feel way about the other person. And it's like, and I feel like that's- Go to the next question, please. <laughs> 
Yo, we're goofy. No. All right, let's move on to the next one. Um, so the next one, I'm gonna go for women shooting their shot, and like how people feel about that. We stay fly, no lie, you know this. Bowling. Yeah, I say go for it. Same here. <laughs> but we're also very yeah, but the like thing is the way that way. we shoot. Yeah, and, exactly. And, like, I don't know, to me, honestly, like, my thing with that is I I always know what I like. With anything, I have, like, an idea of what I like and what I want. So, like, you know, if I see a pair of shoes that I like, I see a pair of shoes that I like across the board, the logic applies. And so I also communicate through humor. And like Aquia said on one of the other videos, is like she, one of her love languages is, like, insults. So for me, it's like... I don't ever like shoot blindly per se unless it's like a let me test this out and it's always very like subtle to where in the instance where things don't go my way it was all a joke anyway <laughs> I was come just kidding. on, come on. Can't you take a joke? Right, we were all playing here. No one, no one's hurt. Yeah, so. but what I will say is that like in shooting our shots, like there's levels to it, right? And so I think that while we're both very direct, like we have different approaches. Like Mish, like she said, she's humor. And so when I talk about direct, y'all, like when I talk about direct, she is a straight shooter, okay? Um, shoot or shoot. <laughs> and then for me, I'm more subtle. So it'll be like, you won't really know if I'm like, really just like flirting with you like i'll start up a conversation and in that like that'll come like where my my flirting starts but it's like i won't initially be like oh like what some me examples <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> oh come on okay this is raw ish okay is raw the, ish stop playing is it the raw or raw ish i can't, I can't pull oh off. my god you're oh, boring really it's out you're really. lame yeah yeah it just really depends on the situation, but I think that we are too grown to be sitting here trying to wait on guys that we want to like come up to us as opposed to like, what do you lose in starting up that conversation? Like it costs nothing to what be is like, there to lose exactly, me? to be like, let me just shoot my shot. So ladies, shoot your shot, shoot your shot, shoot your shot. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's another part of this whole thing I'm going to address. There's like the male perspective like does that come off i think there's to some people um from what i've seen it's like oh that's aggressive but some people are like oh like they're coming like on that. to me yeah so but that's why i think that the level of like the coming too strong like the level of like how you shoot your shot like i think that people when they think about shooting your shot it's like the pickup lines it's like explicitly stating and like that isn't shooting your shot shooting your shot is just making the opening to create that relationship knocking on the door exactly and so like i said like i'm very subtle with it where it's like i might comment on something that strikes up conversation and then flirting ensues and so for that it's like it just depends on the level of like how strong you're coming off to me but also so I'm a woman, so I can't speak on the guy's perspective. Mm -hmm. I wish that we had like a male here to like, you know, give their insight as to it. But like, y'all can comment, guys. Y'all can comment what y'all feel. Um, but like, on that same note, like, shooting your shot is very different from the women who decide they want to propose to their men. Oh. Okay, yeah, she I will your shot. Walk We're open. Open. Yeah. <laughs> before I propose to I will walk on water <laughs> before I decide to propose. I will lose all my teeth <laughs> before, okay? Like, I will, baby, <laughs> before I, I will enter phrase here before, before I, I decide. propose okay? to like, somebody. <laughs> okay, it's, it's just like, that is not the same thing at all. It doesn't even follow like parallel the same Yeah, logic, And it's not even like, about like gender roles and all this other stuff, no. but it's like, come on. Like, come on. Let your man propose to you. And then also, because my thing is like, okay, to you women that, like, you know, then propose, like, you, you, get, you still get to wear a dress? No. <laughs> wear the suit. <laughs> Wear a suit. I hate you so much. Wear a suit. I hate you. And they don't wear the dress. But like also to you women who I propose to your man. No, here's the thing is like to the women who propose to the man, like, are you sure he wants to get married? Like, are you sure you're gonna get a yes? Because if so, like would he not have proposed to you? No, like, no, no, no. Okay. I know this is getting a little bit off topic, but like lately <laughs> we discussed this. There's been a lot of like 
knows to propose with. Oh so my are god. We, like, oh my, are, are you talking sure? about it? Like, have you lost it? Like, where did you wake up? Like, today's the day I'm gonna propose. And like, have you Hi, never cameraman? Spoken about, exactly, cameraman. And you get the notes. Like, have you guys never? Like, I feel like in every relationship that's transitioning to where you feel like y'all are getting to the point where marriage is involved, the oh, conversation. Yeah. Like, have y'all not had the conversation about like whether what age you want to get married? Like, whether y'all see y'all so are y'all not talking in future tense with one <laughs> another? Like, because if none of that is happening, like. Don't get down on one knee. Like, don't don't hire the photographer. Don't do it in a public area, in the public place. Like, do it in the privacy. Y'all can take her to a beach, do something. Like, if you're not sure, you better be a hundred percent before you pop that question because yeah, God those are your soul and your ego. If you get that no, <laughs> and that's all I have to say. And that's really crazy. That's really well because so many have been popping up where the answer is no. Like, it hurts me to even see it. She's like, get get. get. <laughs> okay, um, New Year's resolution. How did my battery get so low? It was full, and I, today's the one day I didn't even bring my charger. New Year's resolutions. I mean, I feel mm -hmm. like, why do we have to wait until the new year before we decide that this is the new leaf that we want to turn for me i just feel like new year's resolutions like my mom has this thing that she calls a nine day wonder where you like are so excited to do something and then you do it for nine days and the hype dies out and then you're back to your old self and i feel like it's easy to fall into that with new year's resolution because like okay i'm gonna start eating healthy or i'm gonna start working out for the new year and you're so excited because like this new year marks this new you but it's like no you're January the same you 12. exactly you're the same you like why does once the clock strikes 12 and it's the first of january you become this new person like be intentional and choose to be that new you choose to turn that new leaf at whatever point in your life you want to because it's the matter of like that shows that you're making the conscious decision of doing it as opposed to like allowing time because like the date has changed to be like okay now's the time and i get that like new year's resolutions is encouraging for some people but i feel like a lot of people fall slack of that and so it's a matter of just like saying this like you're gonna do X Y Z, telling your friends so they hold you accountable to doing X Y Z, and then doing it. Don't wait for a certain time or period or like the first of the month, the first of the year, whatever the case is. Whereas like that's easy. It's like for me, I don't believe in New Year's resolutions, and I don't usually make New Year's resolutions. Yeah, I think I agree with what Clea said, and I think that New Year's resolution are like a generational like social norm, so people just conform to them. Um, and I think like running off the fuel of a social norm um, for something as important and like time consuming as change is not enough fuel. Mm -hmm. So I think when people are really trying to like affect like real change in their lives and you're really just like going off the fumes of like it's a new year, it's not sustainable. Mm -hmm. And so That's it comes point. like February 1st and like you know, everybody else is falling off the bandwagon and because you didn't really have the change in your heart and you're going off the fact that it was a new year, then like, of course you're gonna fall off. I think like, you know, in order to really, really like make a difference in whatever goal someone is setting, like it has to come like inward out and that inward can come at any time. So I agree. I just generally goal set year round. That's a good like point, like the feel thing. I really like the way that you phrased that. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, last question, then wrap it up. Okay, last question. Are your guys' friends your friends? Is your significant other's friends your friends? As much as it may seem like it, it is a facade, smoke, and mirror. They might like you. They are not your friends. They are not your friends. They might like you. They, they, may, they may, listen, they may make you feel like a sister. Like, welcome to the fam. Welcome to the fam. Like, we all rooting for you. But their loyalty, understand where their Always loyalty lies with their boys. Friend. And, like, here's the thing, though. I do want to say that, like, if they like you enough, like, behind closed doors and private conversations, they might, like, advise their boy not to, like, step out or not to do things that will hurt you. And that's behind closed doors. But if your man chooses to continue to do his wrong, know that they are behind him 100%. When you come asking for Ten toes down behind him, friend. Toes down they are not like know that when you come asking for information they are they are detective judy okay um police officer sally 
They are Dr. Donald. They will become uh, they will, whoever they frame with them costume, to be. That will be the are. pizza delivery man. Okay? And like, don't let it confuse you in terms of like, oh, this is only for guys. Like, for girls too, like, we hold our girls down yeah. just as strong. Indeed. And so it's like, yeah, Indeed. while we might like it, we really want to like, you know, create that relationship because it's all smooth. Like, when you're in a relationship and everybody's friends with everybody, like, that's a smooth thing. Mm -hmm. So like, that's cool, but don't confuse the fact. And like, also, like, how do you feel about like, if y'all break up, do you think that, like, do you still communicate with their friends? Like, in that sense, are they still your friends? I mean, it, it kind of just depends on, like, what kind of friendship was built during that time, I think. Because, I mean, I've only had, like, one, like, real, you know, serious relationship. So, yeah, because I was really their friend, like, for real. Yeah, yeah. But if, like, I met them through him, mm -hmm. then probably not. Yeah, yeah. So, like, my thing is, don't, don't, don't get it confused out here. Like... And y'all can very well be friends. Like, I'm not saying y'all oh, yeah. like y'all can't be friends or they don't like you, y'all don't have the rapport. When they say welcome to the fam, you could very well be their sister. <laughs> but their boy is their brother at first. The end of the day. And so, and like, for guys, like, their sisters is their sister first. So like, don't get it confused, don't get it twisted. Like, yeah, it's not personal though. It's loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. the game. Right, run it. <laughs> Charge it um, to the game, y'all. Charge literally, it. Literally. Chop it out to the game and keep it moving. All right, y'all. So we're about to head out. Um, thanks for joining us on this talk. Let us know what you guys' opinions are on different, like, controversial, unpopular opinions. Um, yeah. yeah. All right. See y'all next time. On The Raw. The Raw.